Hello, it's Fusion Fan here with another house build. We are now building a uh, sort of um, not a typical color of house. I usually go for lighter wood colors, and this one is definitely darker wood. But I think it was a good idea, and I like the end result, so that's also nice. Uh, I am also currently playing in this house. I think I've adjusted it a tiny bit to fit my needs for that uh, house. It turns out in the end to be a quite a big house. And I so far like playing in it. Although I think would say that most of the time I play in kind of big houses. But let's get into it. Uh, uh, it's Monday today. This weekend I had my niece and nephew stay over so that I could babysit them. Babysit, that sounds like they're very tiny. They're not very tiny <laughs> anymore. Uh, they are already growing up. And it was really nice to have them over. Uh, we had a lot of fun, I would say. I uh, had a lot of fun as well. The most fun part potentially was the getting them to sleep. They have uh, stayed over here uh, a couple of times. Not that much though. Uh, mm -hmm. And it has been a while. You know, with the whole COVID and stuff. Uh, it's not that uh, e it was not that easy to have them over for me, so I enjoyed it a bit more maybe this time to have them over. I even last week bought a, no, was it last week? Two weeks ago, bought an air mattress. Because uh, usually when they come over, I uh, go and collect one at my parents. But I thought it might be easier if I just have one. And apparently it was easier because uh, it was also useful to have it. And I think in the future I will get a lot of use out of it. Although, of course, then uh, the issue was who's going to sleep on the air mattress and who's going to sleep in the bed. Because I have a, a guest bed uh, ready. I, uh, of course, when I moved into this place, didn't expect to be a whole pandemic. And I actually expected them to stay over a lot. Uh, not a lot, a lot, but... Uh, Maybe monthly, every two months, something like that. And the bed has not gotten that much use out of it yet. So it was nice to have them use it again. And I, I think uh, we all kind of enjoyed it. I'm having a lot of messages at the moment. My phone is in the other room, so I hope you can't really hear it, but uh, chances of it are that you are hearing it, and I'm sorry for that. I can't really help it right now, I could walk away, but I <laughs> don't really think that's what I want right now. And you can now see me extending the house, you are thinking, oh, you're, you're just nuts. Was the house not big enough? That well, apparently wasn't. It apparently wasn't. Maybe it was. <laughs> it, that's uh, uh, the beauty of The Sims. Nothing is uh, definite. And I have extended it a 
pitten house. Uh, I think somewhere in the near future you're gonna see me build a carport. And that carport now has a um, floor above it with uh, two bedrooms. Just a tiny apartment style just above the garage. Which works out quite nicely if you ask me. And of course, right, uh, the the Saturday that they came over, my niece and nephew, it was the hottest day of the week. Uh, my house uh, uh, has uh, the sun in the front at the morning, and then during the day the sun turns to the backside. So uh, my house was uh, heating up quite uh, fast, even though I had closed all the curtains, closed all the windows to keep uh, the warmth out as long as I could and that uh, Saturday morning I woke up and I uh, sat down to play my sims game as I always do on the Saturday mornings and that was uh, there was this odd smell in the air a uh, smell that is very familiar to me now uh, and uh, I don't really understand why but there was a dead mouse again in the trap. Again, I say as it's uh, very common. Uh, last year I invested in some uh, um, stuff you put in the holes of the house. There are some air holes in the wall, on the outside wall. I invested in them. And this was my second mouse this winter. Is it winter? It's not really winter anymore, but I'm counting this and the last mouse together. Uh, hopefully that also means that uh, now uh, it's uh, over for now. Would be nice, because I uh, uh, have a, uh, don't really have an urge to see a dead mouse caught in a trap. Don't really have the urge for that. So uh, uh, thankfully I knew that my brother was coming to drop them off. And not just my uh, sister-in-law uh, and uh, my brother took care of the dead mouse. <laughs> that was very nice. And the smell, uh, of course, uh, I was keeping everything closed for the heat. But because of that dead mouse and that my niece and nephew had to sleep in this room, uh, the window did go open. And I think by the time that they went to bed, uh, it was uh, uh, there was a bit more wind outside. Uh, and I think that helped with the smell because uh, I think the smell was almost completely gone but yeah the, the air mattress uh, situation the last time they stayed over my niece slept in the bed and my nephew slept on the air mattress and I said well uh, maybe this time we do it the other way around to keep it all even for them because uh, you know how kids are at least I remember how I was when a kid. When I was a kid, we, I always wanted exactly the same as my brothers had. They got a cookie, I got a cookie situation, <laughs> and uh, I think uh, keeping that in mind, uh, I said that to them. And then when we went to bed, uh, I already got, they already stayed up quite late apparently. Uh, because I wanted to watch this TV program and I by now know that uh, if you want to watch something uh, you better either keep them awake or just not watch it because it's uh, one of the other so we all stayed up till 9 and then when I said well, it's time for bed they didn't really want to move and then when they we got them into bed uh, about the second time that they walked out of the, be the bedroom towards me uh, uh, my niece said, uh, I don't want to sleep on this air mattress anymore. So then she moved to the bed, which uh, maybe was better in the end altogether. I don't know, but it uh, looked like it was a better solution. And then by the time she went, really went to sleep, it was uh, 11, I would say. 
she came crying uh, into my room I'm missing my mommy and daddy of course I would say the same I was never really good at staying over at friends houses but then again my one of my grandma's uh, grandparents lived on the other side of the world and my others didn't really we didn't really stay over there So I would say that the, I uh, never really had a lot of experience with staying over, but these two have. They have. Uh, I remember vividly when my nephew was only uh, a couple of months old. They left him with us because he was sleeping through the night, and uh, my brother and his wife wanted uh, a night to themselves, going out eating or something like that, or a movie. Uh, and the same goes for my niece. She also uh, has spent a lot of time sleeping over at my parents. So I know she can, but she's just... Uh, I also think they know very well that I'm not being very firm with them. I think that is also uh, something that happens. But then by the time we've, I finally fell asleep, it was almost... Uh, 11.30, so that was very nice. And then, uh, just past 8, they walked back into my room the next morning. Uh, we, uh, on uh, Saturday, made muffins with uh, hot dogs in them. I would suggest you do that if you uh, like muffins and hot dogs. They were very... It was a very strange combination, but it also very much worked. I saw that on Instagram. Somehow my uh, Instagram search feed uh, is including lunchbox IDs for toddlers. And I saw this there and I thought, well, this is, this is just genius. Who doesn't want a muffin with a hot dog in there? So we did that. I expected it uh, to need some ketchup. But it was great on its own. So if you ever need anything uh, to make, uh, I should buy a new thing of hot dogs. Because I generally have one of those in my cupboard. Because that's always useful to have. If you ask me. And I think both of them enjoyed the odd uh, food ID that I had for them. I would say that uh, they potentially uh, think that I'm just a weird aunt they have that comes up with the weird food ideas. I once upon a time, a couple of year, years ago, I think one of the first times they stayed over, the spinach was uh, on sale. And I promised to make them pasta, uh, of course, because hey, <laughs> that's what kids like. Kids like at least these kids really like pasta. Uh, but of course, the spinach was on sale, and I bought the spinach, and I was gonna make it. And uh, apparently, they both don't like spinach if <laughs> they're pasta. They prefer pasta with uh, bell peppers, and you can mix the bell peppers because they don't mind that. Uh, three color or three colors of bell peppers is fine by them, uh, but uh, spinach. <laughs> and I'm uh, sad when they, uh, when I told them that they were coming over, uh, that spinach was on sale again, and they really, really didn't like me saying that because they don't want spinach. <laughs> that's for sure. It was very funny. Uh, to hear them react again to it. I think this spinach thing is gonna come back to me again next time that they come over. Maybe not, maybe that's not say it next time, but the time after that. Uh, I would say that uh, just now me telling this about that uh, last weekend uh, makes me very happy and I would say that that's a good thing. Uh, as I said, I haven't had them over for a while. I think the last time they stayed over was uh, last year, and I think that year they only stayed over once, maybe. 
because of COVID. So uh, it was nice to have them back and let's hope that they maybe can come back somewhere during the summer again and stay the night. Hopefully this time we will fall asleep e earlier because <laughs> that would be nice. I think everybody involved would enjoy that. Because <laughs> my nephew keeps saying every time that my niece w woke me up, or no, woke me up, I didn't fall asleep yet, uh, that uh, <coughs> She, he was uh, not enjoying it, being woken up as well. Uh, my house has just two bedrooms, so that I could potentially put one downstairs if they're already getting annoyed by each other. But then I'd also, for starters, this the room downstairs, uh, I have some curtains on there, but they are not blocking the sun. So I think that is also not helpful for that. But yeah, I think we all enjoyed it. Uh, just us uh, three being together again and having some uh, <coughs> nice time, just the three of us. No adult adults allowed. I don't know if they count me as an adult or not. <laughs> don't know. I also, we also picked some cherries from a tree, although I think I've now have picked almost all of them that I can reach. Uh, I can, uh, I've uh, picked my cherries early because last year I only had like five. Uh, the, the birds around these, uh, around the area I live, uh, all potentially know about these cherries and they come and pick them very quickly. Uh, and that leaves left me empty-handed last year, uh, almost empty-handed. And uh, this year, I've picked them early. They are laying in my window still, ripening further. So that's uh, a good thing for me, at least. Uh, but I had uh, left uh, the lowest branch of cherries uh, hanging. They ripened further. I think the birds never pick the lowest hanging cherries uh, because they are f uh, they potentially can smell that the cat has peed on there or something don't really know they also say that foxes i uh, don't think we have foxes here but uh, that's uh, usually the reason you never pick the lowest branches of uh, wild berries that is also the reason that the lowest branch of cherries was even able to ripen on the branch. They were very juicy. I only had one because we split them between the two. And it was an uneven number, so I was left with one. <laughs> but uh, they were very juicy. My uh, cherry tree has grown in the last four years pretty significantly. And I think that also is helping uh, with... Uh, the amount of cherries it's giving. I try to uh, water it s uh, some now and then when it's not weighing enough. And for the rest I just leave it. I think that is a good uh, strategy, something like that. And my niece and nephew enjoyed uh, looking for them. They even found some raspberries didn't even know I had raspberries yet. I do remember last year I had early raspberries as well. And uh, it looks like I might have a lot of raspberries this year. I also have a blackberry bush in my garden, but I'm not really that fond of blackberries. Blackberries almost always stay sour here. Unless you, you wait a long time until they get very juicy and big. So I usually uh, pick the blackberries and uh, give them to my niece because she doesn't mind the tartness of uh, those blackberries, which is, I think, nice. It's nice to know that she will enjoy them anyway. And I think last year I uh, cut down the blackberry bush quite significantly and it 
looks like, although it's growing back, it's not growing back as thick as it has in the past. As I said, I don't really like them, so why bother with having a lot of them? Although, yeah, my niece would like them, but my niece doesn't live next door, so she can't come over and pick them when they arrive. So we'll potentially pick her up then. Or uh, drive them over myself. But yeah, this house is coming along quite nicely. Uh, for some strange re reason, I picked a navy blue for this house with this dark wood. And uh, although uh, I generally don't enjoy dark wood, I think this house is turning out quite nice. I like the towel I'm using in the bathroom. Uh, and that same one is used in half the kitchen. It looks very classy and very uh, woodsy as well. And I think the combination of that is really uh, something I'm quite enjoying. I, as I said, I'm currently playing in this house. Uh, don't know for how long, but I hope for a while because, I, as I said, I enjoy it. It's a nice house to play in. Potentially because of the big floor pan and the uh, the outside activities as well. Uh, my niece and nephew uh, know of that I, that I do this this YouTube. Uh, videos uh, and uh, I also uh, recorded some voiceover with them that will never end up in on this uh, channel because they are not uh, allowed yet to be on YouTube but nonetheless uh, it's nice to uh, how do you say that to listen over it in the future, I have done that a couple of times. I think uh, twice with my nephew. I don't think ever with my niece. So this was maybe your first time trying that. So it was uh, nice to uh, give it a go. And it's also uh, quite nice to have them uh, try and do that. Because uh, a couple of years ago, my nephew said that he really wanted to become a YouTuber. And then I said, uh, do you even know what that entails? He didn't, of course. Uh, and then I think one time he came over to spend the, the night with me on his own without his uh, sister. And I said, well, we can make one. He was not really sure about it. And then when we started, he didn't really talk. <laughs> And this time was kind of the same bit better. I think he was a bit more uh, into it the last time. And it's always nice to hear that back. I'm gonna uh, export it and make sure that it con stays connected to the uh, video as well. Because that would be nice. Uh, well, I'm quite done with talking at the moment. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's Monday today, and on Thursday I have another concert I'm going to, and on Friday I'm going to another concert, the same band. It's uh, I'm going to see Hanson again, uh, and I am quite looking forward to it. Although I have seen the set list, and they just uh, released a new album not that long ago. Uh, and there is, I think, only one song of that new album on the set list. Yeah, of course, they always play a couple of the classic songs. Uh, and uh, I get that they need, want to play them. 
but I also would like if you release new songs that you play old songs as well because uh, that generally is nice I maybe should uh, listen to uh, the album a couple of more times to uh, reacquaint myself with the songs because I think that would be nice as well uh, So if you in, uh, in the coming week uh, see some uh, extra uh, concert videos on my channel, you know where that's from. It's from Hansen, from the upcoming two concerts I'm going to. I, I am quite looking forward to it. I am going with some friends, uh, which is nice. Although I also enjoy going by myself, but this uh, I have friends that also like Hansen, so uh, we can go together, which would also be nice. Uh, I uh, have to pack a bag for the set concert as well, but I'm looking forward to it. I am also looking forward to seeing all the other hens and fans I've uh, grown uh, acquainted with in the uh, last years ever since I went to my first Hanson concert, so that's nice. But yeah, looking at my screen, I, I have at least now done what I came here to do. I've succeeded in a voiceover, which means that I can wrap this up, which would be nice for both parties. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this uh, video, I would suggest you thumbs this video up, you subscribe to my channel, see the next part, because this is a two-parter. Uh, and uh, my name is Freezing Fan. I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye. Oh, uh, just a heads up the screenshots are at the end of the second video, so not yet. Okay, bye.